Imagine you could predict the future of your finances. Sounds impossible, right? Well, there's a rule that comes pretty close. It's called the 6% rule, and it's changing the way people think about money. This simple guideline could be the key to unlocking your financial potential. Ever found yourself stuck between paying off debt or investing? You're not alone. The 6% rule might just be the answer you've been looking for. It's a straightforward way to make smarter money choices, and by the end of this video, you'll have a clear strategy to tackle this common dilemma. But it's not just about numbers. Think about how it would feel to have less stress about your finances. Picture yourself with more confidence in your money decisions. That's what the 6% rule can do for you. It's your ticket to a brighter financial future. So let's find out how this simple rule can transform the way you handle your money. The debt versus investment, tug of war. Let's face it, money decisions can be tough. One of the biggest challenges many people face is deciding whether to pay off debt or invest their hard-earned cash. It's like being stuck in a financial tug of war with both sides pulling hard. On one hand, you've got the weight of debt hanging over you. On the other, there's the allure of potential investment returns. This struggle is more common than you might think. In fact, the average U.S. household owes a whopping $143,636 in total debt. That's a lot of money that could be going towards building wealth instead of paying interest. But it's not just about the numbers. Carrying debt can take a real emotional toll. It's like having a constant weight on your shoulders, causing stress and anxiety that can impact every aspect of your life. You might find yourself lying awake at night wondering how you'll ever get ahead. At the same time, there's the fear of missing out on investment opportunities. You see stories of people making it big in the stock market or with cryptocurrency, and you can't help but wonder, what if I'm missing my chance to build real wealth? This is where the 6% rule comes in. It's a simple guideline that can help you make smarter decisions about your money. Here's how it works. If your debt has an interest rate of 6% or higher, you should focus on paying it off first before investing. Why 6%? Well, it's based on the idea that over the long term, you can expect to earn about 6% on your investments after inflation. If your debt is costing you more than that, it makes sense to tackle it first. Let's look at an example. Say you have a credit card balance of $10,000 with a 17% interest rate. If you pay $500 a month, you'll end up paying about $1,842 in interest over two years. That's money that could be going towards your future instead of lining the pockets of credit card companies. The 6% rule gives you a clear starting point for making these tough decisions. It takes some of the guesswork out of the equation, helping to reduce stress and confusion. Instead of constantly second-guessing yourself, you have a straightforward guideline to follow. It's important to remember that Everyone's financial situation is unique. The 6% rule is a helpful starting point, but it's not set in stone. Your personal circumstances, risk tolerance, and financial goals all play a role in determining the best course of action for you. That's why it's crucial to look at the big picture when making financial decisions. The 6% rule helps you prioritize, but it's just one piece of the puzzle. You'll also want to consider things like your emergency savings, retirement goals, and overall financial health, when debt becomes an investment. Now that we've covered the basics of the 6% rule, let's explore a scenario that might surprise you. What if your debt has an interest rate below 6%? This is where things get really interesting. Believe it or not, some debt can actually be an opportunity for growth. When you're dealing with low interest debt, investing might be more beneficial than rushing to pay it off. Why? It's all about the potential for long-term returns. Think about it this way. If you have a student loan with a 4% interest rate, but you could potentially earn 8% or more by investing in the stock market over the long term, you're actually coming out ahead by investing rather than aggressively paying down that debt. Of course, this doesn't mean you should ignore your debt entirely. The key is finding the right balance. You still want to make your regular payments, but you might consider putting any extra money into investments instead of making additional debt payments. This is where the concept of opportunity cost comes into play. Every dollar you put towards paying off low interest debt 
is a dollar that's not working for you in the investment market. Over time, this could mean missing out on significant gains. But before you start throwing all your extra cash into investments, there are a few important things to consider. First and foremost is the importance of capturing employer matches in your retirement accounts. If your employer offers a 401k match, that's essentially free money on the table. You don't want to miss out on that, even if you're focused on paying down debt. Let's look at an example. Say your employer offers a 50% match on the first 6% of your salary that you contribute to your 401k. If you make $50,000 a year and contribute 6%, $3,000, your employer would add an additional $1,500 to your account. That's an immediate 50% return on your investment. Another crucial factor is maintaining an emergency savings fund. Before you start investing heavily, make sure you have enough set aside to cover at least six months of expenses. This safety net can prevent you from falling deeper into debt if unexpected financial setbacks occur. So what's the best approach? Consider a hybrid strategy. This means continuing to make your regular debt payments, maxing out any employer matches on retirement accounts, building up your emergency fund, and then investing any additional funds you have available. This balanced approach allows you to make progress on multiple financial goals simultaneously. You're not neglecting your debt, but you're also not missing out on potential investment gains or crucial savings opportunities. Remember, personal finance is just that, personal. Your specific situation might call for a different approach. Factors like your age, risk tolerance, and overall financial goals all play a role in determining the best strategy for you. For example, if you're young and have a long investment horizon ahead of you, you might be more comfortable taking on some investment risk in exchange for potentially higher returns. On the other hand, if you're closer to retirement, you might prefer the guaranteed return that comes from paying off debt, even if the interest rate is low. The key takeaway here is that low interest debt doesn't have to be a financial burden. With the right strategy, it can actually become an opportunity for growth. By carefully balancing debt repayment with smart investing and savings habits, you can turn your debt situation into a stepping stone towards a stronger financial future. Your personal financial roadmap. Now that we've explored the power of the 6% rule, it's time to put it into action. But here's the thing. Everyone's financial situation is unique. What works for your neighbor might not work for you. That's why we're going to create a personal financial roadmap tailored just for you. Think of this roadmap as your GPS for financial success. It'll help you navigate the twists and turns of your money journey, guiding you towards your goals. Ready to get started? Let's break it down into four simple steps. Step one, list all your debts and their interest rates. This might feel a bit overwhelming at first, but trust me, it's worth it. Grab a pen and paper or open up a spreadsheet. Write down every single debt you have. Credit cards, student loans, car payments, mortgages, the works. Next to each one, jot down the interest rate. This gives you a clear picture of what you're dealing with. Step two, assess your current savings and investment situations. Take a look at your bank accounts, retirement funds, and any other investments you might have. How much do you have saved? Are you contributing to a 401k or IRA? Don't forget about that emergency fund we talked about earlier. This step helps you understand where you stand right now. Step three, now it's time to apply the 6% rule. Look at your list of debts. Which ones have interest rates above 6%? These are the ones you want to focus on paying off first. For debts with rates below 6%, you might consider investing instead of making extra payments. Remember, this isn't a one-size-fits-all solution, but it's a great starting point. Step four, create a balanced plan that considers both short-term and long-term goals. This is where things get really personal. Maybe you wanna buy a house in the next five years, or perhaps you're dreaming of early retirement. Your plan should reflect these goals. Allocate your money in a way that helps you chip away at high-interest debt while still making progress on your other financial objectives. Now, here's something crucial to remember. This plan isn't set in stone. Life has a funny way of throwing curveballs when we least expect them. That's why it's important to regularly reassess your financial roadmap. Set a reminder to review your plan every few months 
or whenever you experience a major life change like a new job, marriage, or the birth of a child. By creating this customizable strategy, you're taking control of your financial future. You're not just following some generic advice you found online. You're crafting a plan that adapts to your individual needs and goals. How empowering is that? Let's look at an example to see how this might play out in real life. Meet Matt, a 32-year-old marketing manager. He has $20,000 in student loan debt at 4% interest, a $5,000 credit card balance at 18% interest, and $10,000 in savings. He also contributes 5% of his salary to his 401k, which his employer matches. Applying the 6% rule, Matt decides to aggressively pay down his credit card debt while maintaining minimum payments on his student loans. He continues his 401k contributions to take full advantage of his employer match. With his remaining funds, he boosts his emergency savings and starts investing in a low-cost index fund. By following this personalized plan, Matt is tackling his high-interest debt, securing his retirement, building his safety net, and starting to grow his wealth through investments. It's a balanced approach that addresses both his short-term and long-term financial goals. Remember, the key to success with your financial roadmap is flexibility and consistency. Stay committed to your plan, but be ready to adjust when necessary. Life changes and your financial strategy should evolve with it. The 6% rule, your financial game changer. Let's recap what we've learned about the 6% rule. It's a simple guideline that helps you decide whether to pay off debt or invest. If your debt has an interest rate above 6%, focus on paying it off. Below 6%, consider investing instead. This rule can significantly improve your financial health by helping you make smarter decisions with your money. But the 6% rule isn't just about numbers. It's about taking control of your financial future and turning uncertainty into opportunity. By applying this rule, you can reduce stress, build confidence, and create a clear path towards your goals. So what's next? Start applying the 6% rule to your finances today. List out your debts, check their interest rates, and make a plan. Remember, small steps can lead to big changes. The power to shape your financial future is in your hands. Share your thoughts and Write 6% rule in the comments section if you want more videos related to this topic. Until next time.